Gypsy Rose Blanchard's case is a haunting tale of deception, abuse, and ultimately murder. This story challenges our perceptions of victimhood and justice, leaving us to grapple with complex moral questions. A childhood of fabricated illness. On July 27, 1991, Gypsy Rose Blanchard was born into what would become a life of manufactured suffering. From infancy, her mother Dee Dee began a campaign of medical deception, claiming Gypsy suffered from numerous ailments including leukemia, muscular dystrophy, and chromosomal defect. Dee Dee's actions went far beyond mere exaggeration. She forced Gypsy to use a wheelchair and feeding tube, despite her ability to walk and eat normally. Gypsy's head was kept shaved, mimicking the effects of chemotherapy. This extreme form of abuse, known as Munchausen syndrome by proxy, saw Dee Dee fabricating or inducing illness in her daughter for attention and sympathy. The facade begins to crumble. As Gypsy entered her teens, cracks in Dee Dee's carefully constructed narrative began to appear. In 2007, a neurologist named Dr. Bernardo Flasterstein became suspicious of Gypsy's supposed muscular dystrophy, finding no evidence to support the diagnosis. One. Despite his concerns, Dee Dee managed to maintain her deception for years to come. A desperate plan takes shape. By 2015, Gypsy had formed an online relationship with Nicholas Gottajan. Desperate to escape her mother's control, Gypsy convinced Gottajan to help her commit an unthinkable act. On June 9, 2015, Gottajan entered the Blanchard home and stabbed Dee Dee to death while Gypsy waited in another room. The couple then fled to Wisconsin but they were apprehended days later. The aftermath and questions of justice. Gypsy pleaded guilty to second-degree murder and received a 10-year sentence. She was released on parole in December 2023 after serving eight years. The case leaves us with difficult questions. Was Gypsy's actions justified given the years of abuse she endured? Does her sentence reflect the complexity of her situation? As we reflect on this tragic story, we must consider the red flags that were missed and how society can better protect vulnerable individuals from such insidious forms of abuse. Gypsy's case serves as a stark reminder of the hidden nature of some forms of abuse and the desperate actions they can provoke. It challenges us to look beyond appearances and question situations that seem too good to be true. In the end, we're left to ponder. In the case of Gypsy Rose Blanchard, was justice truly served?